friends, join us as we get ready to open up the Word of God. Here we go. Come on now, let's open up the book. Come on now. Come on now, and take a good long look. And see, God has given us all we need to be free. It's about. finished? Are we finally done? Wow, that was so fun. The colors turned out just exactly what we wanted them to. Yeah. Man, guys, we did such a great job. Do you guys want to see the special effect I included into the ceiling? Yeah, that'd be so fun. All right, check this out. Wow. Man, that was awesome, Millie. You did all of that by yourself? Of course, I'm not just a beautiful actress, you know. Thanks for your help. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, uh, was your brother able to get one of the Hero Academy kits? Not yet, but I definitely have to remind him. It's too good up to pass up on. Totally. The box last year was so cool. I got a cool Time Lab t-shirt and then all the materials for all the amazing crafts. Yeah, and the movie was awesome. Totally. One second, I was up on my seat, so nervous for the characters, and another second, I was bawling my eyes out. Who's your guys' favorite character? Mm, I'd say Joey. He was so funny. <laughs> mine was Candace. She was so cool and really relatable. Nice. Well, mine was Danny. My brother? Why? Uh, because he saved the entire world. Duh. I hope our movie this year can be just as good. How long till we finish the Hero Academy movie? Oh, um, well, according to my schedule, we have about three more weeks. What? Three weeks? That's so not enough time. What if we don't finish on time? Oh, stop, you're making me nervous. Yeah, don't worry, Lily. We have plenty of awesome people helping us out, and the movie's almost done anyways. And I'm sure three weeks is plenty of time to film and edit. Yeah, but I think the people last year have like a year to film a movie. I bet there are like 200 people to help on set. What? How about less than two months and about 30 people? Oh, 
Pastor Sylvia! Long time no see. Hey, you three. It's been a while, huh? I just got finished with my sermon notes and wanted to see the progress. And it looks like I came just in time to see the finished product. Well, what do you think? Oh, this is amazing. I knew you guys could do it. Glad you like it, but did I hear you correctly? I think she said that the production had less than two months and only 30 people to help out. What? No way. How is that even possible? It wasn't. It's impossible. But last year, we weren't sure if we wanted to do Toontown Online. And planning for Toontown Movie didn't happen till last minute. The Lord encouraged the crew to do something big. He was up to something good. Although there were a small crew, only two months, and a lot of hiccups along the way, Jesus showed up every minute. It was impossible, but Jesus made a way. Wow! wow. That's an amazing story. And a great testimony of faith. You know, I'm not really that worried anymore. Really? Yeah. After hearing about last year, I realized that God has always been with us the whole time too. And because he's with us, we don't have to worry. I couldn't have said it any better. You know, all this hard work kind of made me a bit hungry. I knew you were going to say that. Well, off to the kitchen. Off yeah. to the kitchen. Hey guys, let's have some of those cheese balls. Oh yeah, well we also have the leftover Hawaiian pizza. I have of anything. I'm checking in from Hero Academy HQ. Why? Because it's Father's Day. Dads work so hard to care for the family. Remember the phrase, not all superhero wears cake. Oh, well, I don't have a cake, but not all superheroes wear cake. Dads are it. Although we may not see all the work they do, dads have a very important job that requires hard work, dedication, and love. I encourage you to pray for your dads every chance you get. Pray for him to be a godly man, a man after God's heart, and for wisdom as he disciples you and your siblings. Just as parents pray for us, we need to pray for our parents. You know what? Why don't we actually take the next 15 seconds to go and say, thank you, happy Father's Day. Give your dad a high five, a hug, some fist pumps to your dad's or your dad figure. Ready, set, go. Dads can be a bit shy and may not express their love as much as we want, but I am pretty sure dads love you so, 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 so much. Some of my friends have a very special message for their dads they want to share. Let's watch this together. Hi, Daddy. Thank you for playing with me and touching my back when I sleep. I love you so much. Happy Father's Day. from the book of Acts on how the Holy Spirit helps us to be powerful as we pray and read God's word. Have you ever had this experience of reading something over and over and over again, but you have no idea what it's saying? You don't understand a thing you read. Well, in today's Bible story, we meet an Ethiopian official who is reading the scriptures from the prophet Isaiah. 
And as you might suspect, he did not understand a thing he was reading. Shall we watch our Bible story together and see what happened? Stories of the Bible, Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip, Hello. who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, Go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, Go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, How can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those parts here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, Tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. And the Ethiopian said, Look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. Oh my goodness, I absolutely, totally, for sure can relate to the Ethiopian official. I do my daily devotions in the book of Proverbs, and sometimes I have absolutely no idea what I'm reading. I don't have Philip, who happens to stop by my house, to help me understand, but I do have the Holy Spirit inside of me to help me understand and interpret the Word of God. And if you, my friends, believe in Jesus, you do too. After the death of Stephen, Jesus' followers at the church in Jerusalem scattered. However, they did not stop talking about Jesus. They continued to share the good news. One man named Philip took the gospel to Samaria. And the amazing truth is that the people heard the good news and they believed. And they had great joy. Today, I want to focus on the power of testimony. Can you say testimony? What's a testimony, Pastor Sylvia? I thought you'd never ask. A testimony is sharing what God has been doing in your life. If you haven't already, grab your Bible and turn with me to Acts chapter 8. I want to see how the Holy Spirit is working in this very chapter. You do too. An angel of the Lord told Philip, a follower of Jesus, to go to a desert road between Jerusalem and Gaza. On this very road, a man from Ethiopia was on his way home after worshiping in Jerusalem. He sat on his chariot reading aloud the words of prophet Isaiah, but he did not understand what he was reading. Huh? Remember how Philip was headed there? Well, the Holy Spirit told Philip to go to the chariot and this brother Philip, he obeyed, went up to the chariot, Long story short, Philip helped him understand God's word. Philip shared his testimony, the good news about Jesus, and the man believed. Not only that, the Ethiopian mass man asked to be baptized. The crazy thing is, after Philip baptized him, the Holy Spirit took Philip away. Friends, God works in everyone's lives and He is working in you even at this very moment. This work that He is doing in you is making you more and more like Him. I don't know about you, but I have had many times when there was a tugging in my heart to share about Jesus to a stranger at the store, to buy toilet paper for a neighbor when, you know, 
toilet paper madness happened when COVID started, sometimes I have a strong urge in my heart to forgive someone that has hurt me. Have you had something like this happen to you? You see, I have those moments that tickle my heart, but I do not respond to that all the time. And as I was reading today's passage, I wondered what would have happened if Philip was like, why would I go to the desert? Nope, I'm going to the city where there are many people. Or when the Holy Spirit told him to go up to the chariot, what if Philip said, nope, that man is going to think I'm crazy. If Philip did not obey, he would have missed the opportunity to share God's love with this man. And I had to ask myself, is there something God is asking me to do that may sound or seem absolutely crazy? What if I'm not responding because of my own fear of what people might think or people might say? Whether it is small or big, God is working in you and me. We have a testimony and our testimony has the power to bring people closer to God. Don't keep the amazing things that God is doing in you to yourself. Share the good news. Share the love of God that you have received. Friends, just as you cannot see the wind, shh, but you know it's there. The Holy Spirit is real and with you. And I challenge you this week to try and listen to the Holy Spirit. And if you can't hear him, that is okay. Pray and ask God to speak to you. I challenge you to even share your testimony to somebody this week. Can you do that? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to help people like me to follow you and to do your work. Just as, we, just as we have read in Acts 8, help us to have obedience like Philip this week as we tune our ears and our hearts to you. Help us to have courage to share our faith with your people. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. and amazing dads. We're gonna be like, you are my favorite dad. And we're gonna make this beautiful card. So what you need to do today is when you need help, you kind of low-key can't ask your dad today because you're about to give him this card. But you can ask for help 
for any other parents um, or for your siblings. And if you need help, you can always pause, rewind, and rewatch the video as well. So, what do we need today? We honestly, honestly, friends, we just need some papers, some papeles, some glue stick. I'm not sure what glue stick is in Spanish. Some markers and some some skizzers as I always say, skizzers. And so, if you have all these things, we'll get started. So, I've actually already cut my pieces of paper. And so, if you look, we're like, this is one whole paper, and I cut it like down the middle on the on the longer side. So if you know what I always say, we are folding things in hamburger style. So I cut in hamburger style. So it's like that. But you take one half of the card. So essentially this is gonna be our entire card. Unless you wanna do a, a giant card for your dad, which is cool, which is totally cool. But today we're gonna make a smaller card. So. And now you have this half, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this side, you're gonna take this side, and you're gonna fold it into the middle. So you're like, woo. So it's like, if you do fractions, friends, it's one fourth of the entire paper. Wow, math is fun, fraction is fun. Woohoo. Okay, and so we're gonna do this, we're gonna fold it down nice and tightly. And friends, if you noticed, I am not the best cutter, like, like, Scissoring is hard, or like scissors cutting is hard, and so it's a little bit off. But it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna take care of this. So I want you to get your scissors. And what do we always say, friends? Safety with scissors. Okay, sit with me one more time. Safety with scissors. No running. Okay, friends. I'm watching you. I'm not actually watching you, but I'm watching you. No running with scissors. Okay. So we're gonna cut this top part so that it's even, so that it's perfectly together. And cut, 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 cut. And then for this next part, I want you to pause here. Don't do anything. Just wash first because if you miscut here, then you gotta re, re, redo this half. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, you're gonna open this up, and you're actually gonna cut down this line. So I'll take a nice marker. Um, don't put a marker on yours, okay friends? What did I just say? Don't put a marker on yours. I'm just gonna mark where you're gonna cut yours, okay? You're gonna cut about here, like boop, 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 here, okay? And you're gonna do the same on this side, you're gonna go like boop, 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 boop. And then later, when we cut, we're actually gonna cut down this line as well, okay? So friends, if you put a marker and you like drew it out, that's not what I asked, but we can still cut. Let us cut to the sign. And we're gonna cut like that. And we're gonna cut this side just the same like that. And then this side just the same like that. Woohoo! Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it, fold these little flappy things to the middle. To the middle! To the middle! Woo! Okay. And then you're gonna kind of want to overlap them. And you see where they kind of like, are like, oh, this this part here, you're gonna wanna put glue right there on the inside flap, on the inside flap here. And also you're gonna wanna want to cut off this remaining back part so that it looks like this. You can also fold it down if you'd like, um, but I recommend to cut it. To the card that we had, we had this beautiful rectangle where we say, For my favorite dad, but also this beautiful, beautiful bow, bow tie. And so, we're gonna actually make that to that today. Woo! We're gonna make that together today. And so, I want you to take a scrap of paper, it could be red. I have red here. If your dad likes purple, it could be purple. If he likes blue, then it could be blue. It could be whatever color you want it to be. Also, I'm gonna put this right here so that it doesn't fall. Okay, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna cut, 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 cut. And it could be however big you want. It's honestly, it's just like, if you want a giant bow tie right in this card, then you're more than welcome to do that. If you're like, I want an itty bitty one, 
and that's fine too. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it accordion style. You're like, Christine, we've never learned accordion style. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do like this little tiny part of the of the thing, of the, of the paper, I guess. Um, honestly, it's about like one pinky nail size in mine, but it could be bigger, it could be uh, smaller. It depends on how big you want your bow tie to be. And you're gonna like keep folding it. So like if you've ever made like a fan at school, like this is what they teach you. And then you're gonna keep doing that, and you're gonna keep doing that, and you're gonna keep doing that until you're like, wow, this is like an accordion. Do, 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 do. Wait, we have more to do. <laughs> okay. One last one, and we're going to fold this one inwards. And now there's like many parts. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, if you have other scrap pieces of paper, you're more than welcome to use those. If not, um, take a little bit, like take a little tiny strip of the paper you just used. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're actually going to wrap it around the middle here. You kind of need to decide which side is gonna be the front of this, of my bow tie. I like this side more, so I'm gonna actually put it here. And you're gonna need to glue the top part of this down. So I'm actually gonna be using like the runny, it says washable clear glue, but if you have runny Elmer's glue, you're more than welcome to use that. If you need, have glue sticks, you're more than welcome to use glue sticks. If you have tape, you could technically use tape too. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna like take this part and you're gonna wrap it around as if it is a present. As if it is a present. And you're gonna wrap it around and then you're gonna bring it back to where you first put on that glue. And then you're gonna put glue on that bottom part or if you have tape, tape that bottom part together so that they all stick to one side. And then you're gonna cut off the excess. Be careful of your little fingers. If you need help, ask for help. It's always good to ask for help. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, if you don't want it to be big, you can cut it off. Or if you're like, I don't want it to be huge, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Uh, my bow tie is a little bit off-centered, friends. So I'm actually going to, do you see that? It's a little bit off-centered. So I'm gonna trim off one side so that it's perfectly centered. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, yes, this is exactly what I want. And so, when you're ready, you can have a beautiful bow tie for your dad. Okay. And then, if you want, um, you're more than welcome to decorate like this blue lining. I've done that for the outside here, so I'm gonna actually do the same for here. I'm gonna do it on some beautiful lilac paper just because I like lilac um, or purple. And I'm sure there are lots of dads who like the color purple. And so I'm gonna cut this out. I know like, oh, this is how big they should be. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna guess how big this should be. It'll be like a nice, nice two thirds height like this. Okay, I'm gonna glue this on, glue this on. And it might be easier to actually decorate what it says on this card before you glue it on. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. What do I wanna say? I want to I want to decorate like as if they're buttons, because you know, normal shirts have buttons. So here's my buttons. here because I don't want I just I just want to use it why not you know I like glue stick okay I'm gonna glue this all on together so we have our main card here Woohoo! and then we have the you're my favorite dad uh, front of the shirt I'm gonna stick it on under stick it on under Ooh, I believe I believe I believe 
And then lastly, I'm gonna be putting on the bow tie. Oh, let's put it all together. Wow, it's quite nice. I'm proud of me. I hope, I'm so excited to see your guys' on Instagram. I really hope you guys upload this one because I really want to see how everybody's card turned out. See? Look! <laughs> and so on the inside, you can write a beautiful message being like, what What do I want to say? Be like, thanks, dad, for all that you do. I love you. I love you. But the inside of the card, you can write whatever you want to write. Um, and friends, something that I realize is that not all of us have dads here at home. Some dads, they live far away. Some dads, they're just not with us anymore. Or some dads, they have a different family. But to know that you have a ultimate father and a forever dad here up at heaven, up in heaven, who loves us so, 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 so much. And so if you have no dad at home today, it's okay. You can make this card for your mom, for your grandma, for your grandpa, or whoever feels like a dad in your life. And so I want you to make this card and I'm super excited to see all of them on Instagram, okay? So I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Hey friends, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. Today we talked about the power of testimony. I challenge you this week to try and listen to the Holy Spirit and also to share your testimony with somebody this week. Not testimony, but testimony. Our Bible passage was from Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 40. The Holy Spirit told Philip to tell the Ethiopian man about Jesus. Have you done your memory verse? It's the same as last week, Philippians 2, verse 13. Why don't we say it together? Ready? In one voice. Three, two, one. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Memorize and meditate on it. Remember that God is working in you and through you. Love you guys. Miss you so much. Make sure to register for in-person Sunlight Kids Worship at sunlightccs.org. Have a victorious week and I'll see you next week.